Good morning guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and I wanted to show you a couple self-massage strategies. If you've been working at the computer longer than expected, you realize that you're getting stiff, you're getting sore, maybe you've got a pre-existing shoulder problem, some adhesive capsulitis, or you're dealing with a rotator cuff injury. So I, as a physical therapist, utilize these strategies on a pretty consistent basis. Let's start with the difference between an actual tight muscle and the sensation of a tight muscle, because those are very different things. So an actual tight muscle, you may actually develop contractures in the soft tissue, scar tissue formations that limit the extensibility of a muscle. A muscle should be real stretchy. I'm looking for a rubber band. So when we think about a muscle, you can think of a muscle kind of like a rubber band. There's a lot of stretch to it. If I put this rubber band in the freezer, I pulled it out, it wouldn't be quite as stretchy. If I warm it up, it would be a lot more stretchy. So your muscles are similar, and the best way to warm up a muscle is with exercise, but you can also use massage to warm up a muscle. So if you have true mechanical tightness in a muscle, the best way to re reduce some of that mechanical tightness is to exercise, to warm up the muscle. So real simple, some shoulder shrugs, pulling the shoulders up toward the ears, lowering the shoulders, not just dropping them down. This is a great activity. Certainly you can do shoulder rolls. When you're doing a shoulder roll, a circular motion, you should not be experiencing any pain or popping. If you are, we need to talk about that in a separate video. So basically anything that gets the muscle contracting and relaxing will warm up the tissue and improve the extensibility. The second option is some massage. And so while sometimes you'll see people kind of rubbing their shoulders, one of the ways that I found that works best for me is rather than rubbing superficially, I usually use my middle three fingers, my index, my middle finger, and my ring finger. I'll apply pressure on the belly, the thick part of the upper trapezius muscle. I'll apply, apply pressure there and then I'll actually circle my arm just a little bit to get the muscle to move under the pressure of my fingers. Rather than moving my fingers over my muscle, I apply pressure and I move the muscle under the pressure of my fingers. I can take my hand, bring it behind my body. This puts the shoulder blade in an upward and kind of forward tilted position, which allows me to access those muscles a little bit better. I can certainly do what we call a levator scapula stretch, which is I bring that arm up after I've massaged it. I turn my head toward the side that I'm stretching and I tilt my head forward just a little bit while depressing the shoulder blade. And what's happening here is I'm taking this long muscle that goes from behind my ear down to the top of the shoulder blade. I'm lining up the two ends and I'm stretching it. So real quick review. First thing we want to do is we want to warm up the tissue. That could be done with exercise, that could be done with massage. Then once we've warmed up the tissue and we've manipulated the tissue, then we can progress to stretching the tissue. We're going to get a better physiologic response when we follow that sequence. And then of course, just repeating those activities. So if I'm going to be sitting at the desk for three or four hours working on the computer, maybe every hour or two, I take a break, I get that muscle working, and then I go back to doing what I was doing. Guys, if this kind of information is helpful, I hope that you ask questions down in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next video.